Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Whether you've been here before or this is your first time, welcome to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I'd really appreciate it if you take just a quick second and click on that subscribe button. That way, you'll be the first to know when I upload a new tutorial. I'm so excited you're all here. So let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm in Word and I'm going to show you how to use speech to text. And it does exactly what it sounds like it does. You talk, it types. Now this comes in really handy for someone, say, like me. I'm constantly having conversations with myself and brainstorming sessions with me, myself, and I. <laughs> and then I can't remember what we talked about. And if I wrote it down, forget about it. There is no way I will ever be able to read what I wrote. It's just not happening. So this comes in really handy in situations like that and many others. You can use it in a meeting with multiple people as well and it will dictate whatever is being said. So to get to the dictate to use speech to text from our home tab, we're gonna go to dictate and you heard that noise. That means it's listening. And as you can see, it is typing everything that I say, which is what we want it to do. It has come a long way since they first started the dictation function within Word and watch this. The faster I go, it does a really good job at figuring out what I'm trying to say and I can go faster and faster and faster and it don't care. It'll do a really good job at seeing what I have to say and actually getting down and typing it out. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm surprised I got it all out, but I think I repeated the same thing like 10 times. But you can see it's come a long way. You can type fast. It's really good at different languages, and it's good at different dialects. Like I live in Kentucky, so I have a different accent than, say, somebody that lives in New York. But it does a really good job at still uh, being able to type out what we're both saying, even though we sound completely different. So from this box here, it generally defaults to being right here. Now, I always move it off to my left. And the reason I put it over here is if I hit this help button, that's going to pop up over here. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So I put it over here to keep it out of the way so I can still see my document and help if I need it. So underneath our settings, we can choose auto punctuation. I generally don't because I want to tell Word where I want a period, a comma, a semicolon, a new paragraph. I don't want it to guess where I want it. I leave my profanity filter on. It's on by default. I just leave it alone. And then you can choose whatever language it is you want to dictate in. Now, this is going to default to whatever you chose when you set up your application. And mine is English. But you can pick a different one. And if you don't see the language you need out here, Microsoft is constantly adding new languages. So hopefully sometime soon, whatever it is you need will be out here in your spoken language choice. Now over here, we have our question mark, which is help. <laughs> and it pops it up over here. Now, most of this, like dictation settings, spoken languages supported, and, and dictation suggestions are in here. Where you're going to spend most of your time is what can I say? And again, it's going to default to whatever language it is you set up in here. And for English, if you want a period, you say period or full stop, question mark, question mark. It's pretty much exactly what you want it to do. Editing, undo, delete, deletes a word, delete that, deletes the entire sentence. You can tell it how many words or sentences. You've got formatting, bold, italicize, underline, strike through, and creating lists and so on. Let's just say you wanted Spanish. It's going to tell you what to say to get a period, a comma, question mark, and the same for every other language out here. So let me go ahead and get out of there. Now it's time to have some fun. <laughs> the first thing I want to show you is some editing examples. So we saw in our help that if we say delete, it's going to delete a word. If we say delete that, it's going to delete a whole sentence. Let's go see how that works. Please review by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Delete tomorrow. Next week, new line. So as you can see, I told it to delete tomorrow, add next week, 
and go to a new line. And that's exactly what it did. A new line means a return, a new line, a new paragraph. If you need to double space it, new line, new line. Now let's look at some formatting examples. So I'm going to do some bolding. I'm going to do some underlining and some italics just to show you how that works. So let's go. Can you please have this ready by next week? Question mark. Bold next week. Underline week. Italicize this. And as you can see again, it did exactly what I told it. It bolded next week, it underlined week, and it italicized this. So now let's go to our next one, which is always fun for me because it's where I have, for whatever reason, the most problems. And I don't know why. It's really easy, and I'm sure it's just me. So I'm going to show you how to create lists with bullets or numbers. And here we go. <laughs> Hang on tight. <laughs> Grocery list colon, new line. Start list. Eggs, new line. Bread, new line. Milk, new line. Exit list. So as you see, I told it what the name of my list was, colon, then new line, and then I told it to start list. And it automatically makes it a bulleted list. So eggs, new line, milk, new line. And after I got to milk, I said new line, I said exit list, because I'm done with that list. Now let's just say we want to make a numbered list. Start numbered list. Wake up, new line. Get out of bed, new line. Take a shower, new line. Have breakfast, new line. Go to work, new line. Exit list. And that is a numbered list and it did exactly what I asked it to do. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to add a comment into a document. And let's just say that we want to mark really good job at seeing what I have to say, and we want to put a comment in there that says, uh, needs to be reviewed for accuracy. So we need to highlight where we want to put the comment before we started listening. Add comment. Needs to be reviewed for accuracy. So as you can see, I told it to add the comment and it popped this box up here. Then it gave me another little listening microphone to where I can put in my comment. And now if you look over here, it has highlighted this text and indicated there is a comment here. So the last thing I want to show you is just a couple more commands to where we can tell it to show us help, pause dictation, and end dictation when we're done for the day. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell it to show us help. Show help. And that was easy. It showed us help. Let's just say we're in the middle of typing and somebody comes into our office and we need to stop for a few minutes. Stop dictation. Then we can start it back when we need to start it back. So now I'm going to tell you that there's another way that you can do that besides stop and you can actually say pause dictation. And it's going to do the same thing. Now one last thing. Now it's getting close to five o'clock or whatever time it is that we need to go home period. And we are down to the last few things that we need to say period. So we decide it's time to end it permanently for the day period. Exit dictation. And it took everything down our microphone box and everything. Now that is not everything that you can do with your dictation tools, but it's enough to get you started. Don't forget to use your help. And what can I say? 
because it has a lot of other different commands. And then if you go down here and read this article in the browser, it will redirect you to office.microsoft.com where there are even more commands that you can do. And that is how you do speech to text in Word. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. And I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.